Allison Nelson and I'm the director of Gold Country Avian Studies and we're here today in the Bennett Street Grasslands which is part of Empire Mine State Historic Park studying birds in an effort to better understand what's happening with their populations. It's a collaborative effort between Bear Yuba Land Trust, the State Park and, uh, and Gold Country Avian Studies and in this beautiful section of Remnant Meadow we are doing oral surveys where we're listening for birds um, and detecting birds um, at point count surveys and then we're also doing mist netting. Uh, we're looking at birds in the hand by capturing them in mist nets which we set up throughout the meadow. We catch wild songbirds in these nets and put uniquely numbered USGS issued bands on them and take various measurements. We identify the species and determine sex and age if possible. And we're, we're using those measurements to try to understand what's happening with bird populations over time. Are birds possibly changing in body size in response to climate change? Are populations changing in response to development in the area? It's a great effort. It's really all volunteer run and uh, it's a great opportunity for community members to see birds up close, to be active citizen scientists. I think what I enjoy most about coming out here Number one, the birds, but also the camaraderie with Allison and all the others who are working out here at the Bandain Station. It's enjoyable because I'm out here outside, which is something I love, also working with animals and other people passionate about animals, and it's just, oh, it's such a rewarding experience. And it's also a great uh, opportunity to share birds up close with local youth. We have school groups that come out um, for a bird banding demo and we'll, they'll get a chance to see birds up close and study their feathers and see how science happens and hopefully we're inspiring that next generation of young, young scientists. I think it's really important for them to have, a, have an up close and personal experience with with the wildlife that they're interested in saving. Really young kids in particular are, can really connect with wildlife and, and so I think it's a great way to share the whole experience of being out here in, in the habitat. When you can show students a charismatic little bird and get them to fall in love with that, there's buy-in. They want to not only protect that bird, they want to protect the habitat in which that bird resides. The park really cares about this meadow and how important it is to the ecosystem and they've been they've been really supportive of the program from the from the start so it was a it was a really nice connection to find this spot and meet the folks from parks and have them you know share their enthusiasm and how to make it the best possible program we can. This is a remnant piece of what Grass Valley used to look like and native grasses in grasslands in California are disappearing at a rapid rate. State Parks has been doing some limited grassland restoration and riparian restoration over the past 10 years at this site. We have so many different species that we've we've either captured or detected here. I think we just all need to need to remember as we go through our daily lives to be to be stewards and, and help protect those spots that are really important out in the natural world, whether they're in your backyard or the state park or or the forest or whatever you have access to. Mm -hmm.